Hi, I'm Alex Slido, Chief Executive Officer and Co-Founder of Efficient Power Conversion. And in this video, we will introduce you to the ePower chipset family of integrated circuits. Beyond just performance and cost improvements, the most significant opportunity for GAN technology to impact the power conversion market comes from its intrinsic ability to integrate multiple devices on the same substrate. By pairing an integrated GAN device with an optimized discrete eGAN FET, a 65 ampere chipset solution designed for 48 volt DC to DC conversion used in high density computing applications and brushless DC motor drives for e-mobility, robotics and drones can be used to achieve higher efficiency, reduced size and weight, and reduced system costs. As background, let's first talk about the GAN integration journey, starting with the discrete lateral eGAN device. EPC quickly moved on to higher levels of integration. In 2014, we introduced a family of integrated devices with multiple FETs on one chip, which became the starting point for the journey towards a power system on a chip. The trend was expanded with the introduction of the 2107 and 2108, which integrated half bridges with integrated synchronous bootstrap circuits. In 2018, we further continued the integration path with the introduction of eGAN ICs, combining gate drivers with high frequency GAN FETs in a single chip for improved efficiency, reduced size, and lower cost. We added the capability to have high side gate drive and then expanded the integration path with high voltage level shifting and bootstrap charging circuit functions, redefining power conversion by integrating all functions in a single GAN on silicon integrated circuit. With the launch of the ePower chipset, EPC further redefines power conversion by taking GAN solutions to higher voltages and higher frequency levels way beyond the reach of silicon. From the control environment of digital and analog controllers, the ePower chipset translates the PWM command signals to high voltage and high current waveforms capable of driving real world loads. Designers can use the power chipset to make lighter weight and more precise battery operated brushless DC motor drives for e-mobility robotic arms and drones and higher efficiency 48 volt input DC to DC converters for things like data centers. Now let's talk about what's inside this high current e-power chipset. This is a simplified block diagram of the e-power chipset consisting of the EPC 23101 integrated high side FET and the EPC 2302 low side FET. The control side of the ePower chipset is integrated in the EPC 23101 chip together with the high side power FET. The integrated high side FET is 2.6 milliohms typical to achieve lower switching losses and enable higher switching frequencies. The low side FET is integrated in the EPC2302 chip and is a 100 volt 1.4 milliohm typical EGAN FET to achieve low conduction losses and enable higher load current capability. The simple logic in to power out functionality is available, including logic interface, high voltage level shift, sync boot, delay matching, and gate drivers for high and low side FETs. New features include a simple 5 volt bias compatible with available system power, a chip disable mode to save power when not actively operating, user adjustable switching speed to optimize EMI versus efficiency versus voltage spikes, and more extensive fault protection against input logic faults and power supply sequencing faults at startup or due to a brownout. Now, if you've heard any of my previous declarations of how much I hate packages, this may come as a bit of a surprise, but the EPC team was able to develop a package that complements our eGAN technology so well that I'm updating my position. 
The two PQFM packages you see here measure just 3.5 millimeters times 5 millimeters and 3 millimeters times 5 millimeters, respectively, for the EPC 23101 and EPC 2302. They have pinouts that are designed to be layout friendly, so they lay out together in a very compact format and are compatible to the optimal layout techniques for half bridge power stages with minimum parasitic inductance. All high voltage to low voltage pad spacings are at least 0.6 millimeters apart to meet IPC voltage rules for 100 volt creepage. The package is also very thermally efficient with an R30 JC to the top of the device of 0.4 degrees C per watt and an R theta JB to the bottom of the device of 3 degrees C per watt. And this is from the junction to the copper landing pad of the PCB, and it allows for efficient heat spreading using a multi-layer PCB and thermal vias. Also, all the pads use wettable flanks for easy, easy solder inspection on the sidewall of the package. To allow customers to quickly evaluate the ePower chipset, the EPC 90142 evaluation board is available. This evaluation board easily interfaces with PWM input channels for high side and low side. It adds waveform shaping and dead time adjustment down to 10 nanoseconds, provides a regulated 5 volt supply for the ePower chipset, and connects to an onboard or offboard user selectable output inductor and capacitor. The evaluation board can be configured in either buck or boost mode or other half bridge configurations. The EPC 90142 is equipped with three mechanical spacers that can be used to easily attach a heat spreader or heat sink as shown here. The end result is a thermally efficient system capable of achieving at least 65 amps of load current from 500 kilohertz to 1 megahertz of switching frequency using the ePower chipset. An ideal application for the EPC 23101 and EPC 2302 ePower chipset is the high power density DC to DC converters needed for the power hungry server applications such as those needed for multi-user gaming systems, autonomous cars, and artificial intelligence. In a 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter for high power density computing, the EPC 23101 plus the EPC 2302 chipset achieved peak efficiency of 97% at 500 kilohertz and a maximum load current greater than 65 amps from 500 kilohertz to one megahertz. The benefits in this application include ease of design, reduction of component counts, easy to handle PQFM packages, thermal efficiency, and the ability to design with high efficiency at high frequency, allowing for the reduced system size, weight, and cost. Here's another ideal target application for the EPC 23101. It's a three-phase brushless DC motor drive designed for 20 amps RMS and 40 amps peak. In addition to ease of design, reduction of component counts, easy to handle PQFM packages, and thermal efficiency, the ability to design for 100 kilohertz switching allows for lower acoustic noise, higher motor efficiency, and the capability to eliminate electrolytic capacitors for reduced size, weight, cost, and improved reliability. This capability also allows for designs that are small enough that they can be integrated into the motor or actuator housing. The ePower family of products are redefining power conversion and making it easy for designers to take advantage of the significant performance improvements made possible with GAN technology. Integrated devices are easier to design, easier to lay out, easier to assemble, save space on the PC board, and increase efficiency and power density. 
from the control environment of digital and analog controllers, the ePower chipsets translate the PWM command signals to high voltage and high current waveforms capable of driving real world loads. Designers can use the ePower chipset to make lighter weight and more precise battery operating brushless DC motor drives for e-motion, robotic arms, and drones, higher efficiency DC to DC converters for data centers, datacom, artificial intelligence, solar maximized power point trackers, and other industrial and consumer applications. In summary, the EPC 23101 offers the lowest RDSON GAN FET integrated with gate driver in one chip, and the EPC 2302 offers the lowest RDSON 100 volt GAN FET available. Together, this ePower chipset enables the highest load current rating 100 volt power stage available, capable of switching in the 500 kilohertz to 1 megahertz range. For more detailed information on EGAN FET and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.